guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Nosa. I'm a doctor in the UK and I make videos on medicine and lifestyle. In this video, I'm going to be convincing you and not confusing you as to why I think every student, every professional, every entrepreneur, basically everyone would benefit from having an iPad and iPad pencil in 2020. If you'd like to see more, keep watching. Let's start with the iPad I've got. I've got the, I'm going to be reading off the details of my iPad by the way because I don't remember it, I don't remember the prices. So I've got the 7th generation iPad, 10.2 inches, it costs £349. I've got the 1st generation Apple Pencil, cost £89. And I've got the, some cheap Amazon case that cost £10. So that came up to a total of £448 and this iPad is 32 gig, which is more than enough for anyone just using it for digital note taking and basically not downloading videos or editing videos because obviously that would require a lot more memory. In terms of digital note taking with an Apple Pencil, the other option is the iPad Pro. That one's much more expensive and I'm going to read the details again. So that one cost £769 which is insane to me. Um, it, it's compatible with the second generation Apple Pencil which also cost £89 and then you can also get a cheap Amazon case for £10. So the total of that would be £868 and that's for the cheapest iPad Pro. Now guys, I don't think it's worth it if you're just getting an iPad for digital note taking to spend that much on an iPad. I just don't I don't see the point because this option, the 10.2 iPad is now available, which it was not in the past. So now let's get into why I decided to get an iPad. I've always had an iPad since medical school. I'll show you my old one, okay? So this is my old iPad and this is my new one. The reason why I upgraded my iPad is because this iPad, which is the first iPad Air, is not compatible with this Apple Pencil. When I was in medical school, I actually used to use this Adonit Jot Pro stylus to make my notes, but it wasn't as good because it did not have palm rejection, which is basically you being able to put your palm on the screen while writing. So it gives you like a paper-like experience. With the other stylus I had, or the cheaper ones, you had to write like that. And that was quite uncomfortable. So yeah. That is why I upgraded and to me it was definitely worth the upgrade. If you're one of those people that loves to have planners and organizers, which I think everyone should be because I don't know how people remember to do everything they need to do in this life. But yeah, so I've always had, I've always been a planner girl. I like the thick ones, I write so much in it. And this one as well. Anyway, I got rid of these because the iPad has the option of a digital planner, which I'm going to show you guys. So yeah, I've got this digital planner from Liz Collar Brown. She's a YouTuber. I downloaded it from her website. Um, she's offering it for free, which is great. But there are loads of people also selling these planners on Etsy. Anyway, I'll just give you a quick idea of how it works. So um, as you can see, there's the days of the week on the side. And I'm in January now, so I'm going to make sure that's clicked. And then I'm going to go, let's say I have to do shopping on Monday. I'm just going to put it on there. Do shopping right like and you can just go back if you want to switch and go to a different time so that's february march april you know there's a lot of there's a lot of features you can have um stickers as well depending on how much you use planners but the benefit of this is i don't have to carry those massive planners that would make my bag so heavy and be giving me backache okay so yeah I would recommend this digital note taking you know everything digital the way forward these days okay also with regards to carrying heavy things this iPad will basically contain all your notes it can contain all your lecture slides basically you don't have to carry these huge ass folders to lectures all you need to do is put this in your bag and you're good to go another amazing thing about this is that all your notes would basically no matter how many years you've had your notes for so let's say you're a doctor now like me I still use my medical notes for medical school. I'll show you guys again. So guys, as you can see on the left hand side, I've got my subjects and dividers. And this is my, these are my medical school notes. These are my MRSA exam um, folders because I just took the GP exam recently. Um, but yeah, back to my medical school notes. So these are the notes I actually took in medical school with my Adonit Job Pro I mentioned earlier. Now, as you can see, let's talk about antidepressants. I wrote about that. I mean, my handwriting was way better then. But yeah, um, which was my favorite? I mean, I think my notes on pulmonary embolism, I, I use the dark background, so you can change the paper as well on Notability, because that's the app I'm using now. Yeah, it looks really pretty, I think. <laughs> Basically, I love having my notes this colorful, because I mean, sometimes studying is just, you know, a bit depressing. So when I have it like really colorful like this, it just makes me a bit happier. 
Now this is one particular note I still refer to and it's AC ACLS rhythm. So as you can see, I kind of simplified it for myself and I still refer to this till today. But yeah, just to say, I mean, if you had paper notes, you would not be able to go back and easily find information like this. So let's say I wanted to find something about um, atropine, yeah. Yeah, I knew that would come up there and it's come up as there and then it's telling me it's here. Basically, that's a huge advantage with regards to having an iPad because you can just easily search for a word you're looking for. If you've got paper notes, you have to spend ages searching for a particular word and it just would not make sense. So yeah, it's nice having that. One other thing I want to mention is the ability to have some textbooks. So this is the new GoodNotes 5 app, but let's go to the old one, which is what was, the, which was what was available back then. So these were my lecture slides. So let's start with that. I used to highlight, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Yep. So yeah, um, these, are, these are my notes. I used to highlight. I used to make um, annotations here and there. So yeah, I've always been an iPad girl and this is an amazing feature to have. So, so let me show you guys now. I still use this iPad to study for my GP exams. So um, if you go back, these are my MSR, MSRA notes. And I made like, I did, I made annotation. So for example, let's go with this one. This is the hypertension guidelines. I kind of simplified it for myself, made annotations. It just makes it so much easier to use. And you know what? When I'm working in my GP rotation, which is currently what I'm doing now, I would be able to refer back to these guidelines. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't, I can't fold this really. It's amazing. I use good notes and notability. I prefer notability for my actual note taking and good notes for annotating in like notes, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'll show you guys another cool feature with note taking on an iPad. So I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you guys later in this video how exactly I go about creating notes like this. But, um, so yeah, let me show you. So this is, these are the notes, right? Let's say I want to take notes and be looking at my lecture notes. I'm going to lift that up, drag it across. And can you see? I can have my lecture notes on the right hand side and be note taking on this side. So I can even decrease the size. Let's say I want it to be smaller. It doesn't have to be that big. I'll just keep writing YouTube trial. Like how amazing is that? It's so efficient. You don't have to have so much paperwork around you when studying. So if you can see this, or I'll show this on my screen again. Um, I love having colors like I'm one of those like I said I love to take colorful notes it just makes me feel better and before I used to have a lot more colors and highlighters and things I don't really use this anymore because I've got all the colors I want in this pencil so again on the screen you can click on the pencil you can choose the like you know the how thick you want it whichever color you want just change it pink I just think, again, it's so helpful. If you write something you want to highlight as well, there's so many highlighter colors, there's so, there's, there's so many like options here. I mean, that's another benefit. There's currently three main note-taking apps that I know of, and it all comes down to personal preference. I personally use all three of them, mainly two actually, Notability and Good Notes 5 for different things. Now this is Notability here, um, and this is Good Notes 5. And I've also got one note here as well. I'm going to change my angle now so I can show you guys how exactly I go about taking notes on my iPad with Notability because that's the one I use the most. So guys, one of the cool features about iPad and note taking is the fact that when you make notes in your iPad, it automatically syncs via your iCloud to your Apple iPhone and to your laptop. So for example, let's say I went on the Notes app, which is, what, which is an app everyone has on their iPhone, and I wanted to make a to-do list. So let's say i put number one um fill out gp application form number two buy onions because <laughs> i mean this is kind of stuff i do anyway i'll show you how it just automatically syncs to your iphone so yeah i don't know if that's clear but as you can see like it's come up on my to-do list for today, which is amazing. So as I mentioned before, my favorite app for note-taking is Notability, which is here. And as you can see, I've got all my notes from my MSRA exam, which I took recently for GP entry. 
um i've also got my old medical school notes which i took a while back obviously medical school and i still use till today so these are the subjects and dividers here and let's say i wanted to create a new subject i would just go to this plus button here and then click create subject and let's just call it youtube i'll just type it in actually youtube trial okay i'll go there then i'm just gonna click on the divider as well and let's just call it i'm not very interesting am i youtube trial 2 yeah then so yeah i've just moved this youtube trial subject under this youtube trial divider and now i'm just going to create a note create a note which is this symbol here you can name the note whatever you want i'm just going to change it um and what should i name this note no sir boring anyway so yeah here you've got the option to change it to either a well, basically here you've got the option to change it to whichever paper you want so you can go for a lined paper you can go for grid paper or you can just go for plain paper I haven't really seen this one before I haven't used that before but yeah um, let's just go for normal lined paper right and now I'm going to pick one of the pens here so hmm you've got loads of options here which is amazing uh, let's go with blue now um i've chosen a blue pen and i'm going to show you how exactly i go about writing you know what let me make my let me just change my paper and make it a bit thicker a bit um the gaps a bit thicker so this is the pen i've chosen and i'm just gonna write um this is a youtube trial okay This is helpful for note taking. Okay, as you can see, my palm is on the screen and it's just recognizing the Apple Pencil, which is known as palm rejection. I'm just gonna show you the highlighter tool. Again, they're different colors. So let's highlight with yellow. That's my favorite highlighter actually. And you can just go over the text like that. That's a bit thin, so you can change the width. Let's go for something thicker. That one. And then here. See? This goes over everything. You click on the eraser tool to just erase it. In terms of writing, I just like to write my text on like that. But if you wanted to make it bigger so it'd be neater, you just click on this icon here and then start writing. In the line so I'm just gonna move it to here and then I'll start writing something medical school as you can see it automatically just moves on to the next line for you you don't have to keep moving that box I feel like my pen's a bit too thick so I'm just gonna change that see showing you automatically moves on this is fun so let's say you're taking notes and you wanted to add a screenshot of your lecture notes or you were in a lecture or you wanted to just screenshot something and insert into your notes this is this is what you do you click on this plus sign I just did over here you have a couple of options of things you can stick in but I tend to go for um, my camera most of the time when I screenshot something but let's uh, say I go for my photo library Hernias. I want to insert a picture of hernias here. You decrease the size by doing this, just taking it down, and you can put it, put it wherever you want. Okay. And then when I when I tend to do screenshots like that, I tend to now annotate on it even more and put this is lateral or whatever, something like that. Um, I feel like my notes are not making sense at the moment, but it's just for demonstration purposes. One really cool feature is this recording thing here. When you're in a lecture, 
it, it's so so helpful by clicking that you're, ab you're able to record what the lecturer is saying and listen to it later and you know which notes it's attached to so right now it's recording if I press stop right it's recorded there and you can decide whether to play it or you can play thing here so that when you're in a lecture sounds awful I hate my voice <laughs> um, so yeah that's how it just saves there and that's that now now this is one feature that I feel like you cannot replicate on paper so let's say I'm like, oh God, I want to add something else. I don't have any space. And on paper, you now have to try and squeeze in everything. On an iPad, all you need to do is click on this cut tool, right? And let's say you want to cut this. That's gonna cut it and then just drag it down to create more space, right? And you can now write whatever you want to write. So I'm just gonna cut that again and then let's say you wanted to make this text bigger you just do that and it's bigger or you can make it smaller okay so again that's cool you can't do that in real life can you and let me just take it back to kind of where it was before there are other options as well you can decide you want to convert it to text it'll just make it so if you decide you want to print this out for like people to read or something you, you convert it to text for you see this is a YouTube trial but yeah, I'm just gonna take it back. Let's say you've made a loads of notes. Now, I'm gonna go away from this page. I'm gonna show you one of my older notes. Um, my MSRA exam notes. Let's go to the one for, let's go with dermatology and eyes. Okay, so let's say I wanted to find, put dermoid cyst. And it's telling me, actually it's on this page, put this down and it's highlighted it for me. So I'm just trying to show you the feature. That's amazing. You don't have to spend ages looking for where you wrote something. So yeah, guys, um, that was not like an in-depth tutorial, but I was just trying to show you how, you know, you go about making notes on an iPad. So that is the end of the video, guys. Can I just say, this English weather does not make any sense. I started filming this video when it was bright, and now it's like 5 p.m. and it's dark already. I can't deal. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Bye!